If you were President of the United States, what would you be doing to fix these problems? Well, I certainly wouldn't be tweeting about MSNBC. Uh. And I, I just have to say, because this is the first public opportunity I've had, that uh, not only do tweets like that diminish the president's, the excellent people who work for this president, but they also diminish his opportunity to form relationships with leaders around the world. And there are lots of capable leaders, some women, some men, who I'm sure are absolutely appalled by that, as I was. So I, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know if anyone here other than I uh, has sort of been in the crucible running for elected no. office, but I served for nine terms in Congress. That was 17 elections, because there were primaries. And in case you missed it, the primaries these days are harder than the general elections. And uh, because I'm in the center of the Democratic Party, I was called by some of my uh, party mates, a traitor and a spy, and I should be in jail. Mm -hmm. You should know this, Edward, uh, because of some of the positions I hold and believe in. Right. But uh, so it was hard. But let me, uh, let me just make, make a comment a slightly different way than you asked the question, mm -hmm. Steve, if it's OK with you. Uh, I've spent years thinking about the fact that security and liberty are not a zero-sum game. That's my right. field, intelligence and security. We need both. And I actually think that populism and a liberal order are not a zero-sum game either. We need both. And I think there is That's a place. That's good news for our audience. Well, and, I think yeah, yeah, welcome yeah, right. to, to yeah. the conversation. Yeah. There is a place in the liberal order for people who are populist. And there, as, uh, as Mike said, there's not just one flavor of populist. There's not just one flavor of liberal either with a small mm -hmm. L. Not, and, and I think we have to find a way forward together. Uh, and I think the strains that have been exacerbated, not just by uh, uh, pres the rise of President Trump, but before President Trump, including in my own party, have really hurt America. And if we can't find a way to build bridges soon, uh, we're going to hurt it further. And then the title of your book is going to be right. I just wanted to mention five things that I think are challenging the liberal order. I mentioned these the other day, but one of them, of course, is technology, which is displacing workers, and we have to find a way forward. The second is terrorism, which affects all of us. The third of them is uh, the um, massive amount of refugees and displaced persons in the world, larger than ever, 65 million and counting. The fourth is climate change. However it occurs, mm -hmm. it's happening. And the fifth, and this is the one that just pains me, and it is the reason I walked out of Congress in my ninth term to head this heavenly nonpartisan space called the Wilson Center, toxic partisanship. It's killing us. It's just suffocating this country, uh, and it is so tragic. And Aspen, to say something very positive about Aspen, not only can you breathe here, but we actually talk civilly to each other here.